Hey guys, welcome to Middleware Techies. My name is Abhishek and I am a Middleware Administrator. So what I'm going to show you here is like uh, how we can get the file system created uh, on a Linux machine. And let me tell you why this is important. So being a Middleware Administrator, what we do, we have to work everything right from the installation, configuration, everything, either on a Windows or a Linux or an AIX Solaris machine, right? So having a good knowledge on about the OS is always a good and a better approach for working on any technologies. So before getting my middleware softwares installed on this particular machine, suppose I have this machines here, right? So this is one of the Linux machine. I want to install my middleware software over here. So before proceeding with the installation, what I want to do is like, I want to get the file system created and make those installation in that particular file system so that my other things which is running with the operating systems will not get messed up. And I will be having certain permissions, some ACLs I'm going to perform on that file system so that only particular group or a particular users can access those files. So basically this kind of environment we used to get when we work on real time environment like a QA production or dev. So here first, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the file system created. Here I'm going to create a web data and a web app file system. This is a few steps to perform it. Before going for a practical, I would like to explain you how and what the things that we have to do, what these utilities means. So for the very first thing that we need to do is like, you might be aware about the VMware console. In real time also we use VMs, VMware's, right? So from there we can, we have to add the disk, right? Just uh, think of a real time example, like you have a laptop, this laptop, is having suppose one TB or 500 gigs of uh, disk, but I want to extend that disk. I want to get it two TB or three TB, or suppose uh, consider an external hard disk. So uh, even if you get the hard disk, can we get the files copy to that hard disk? I'm not talking about the external one because that comes with the predefined uh, like volumes and all those stuffs. The one which is installed inside your laptop. We are not going to get it like this, right? So we need to uh, get into the partition table and we need to do the partitions. Same in Linux also, we have LVMs, logical volume groups. So getting that LVMs, we need to perform certain activities like initializing the physical disk, then creating the volume groups from that physical disk. Suppose I've added three disk and I don't want to make a bigger one of volume groups can be created from that. So and then creating an Elvis from that and mounting it, how to make a permanent mount. So everything is mentioned in this uh, things. In this document, I am going to explain you one by one. So adding a disk from the VMware console. So we have added the disk, but how we can verify whether it's being added or not. So there's a simple command in uh, Linux that is LSBLK. So when I run this LSBLK, it will show me all the disk that is being added to this server. So the very first one is the root disk that has been added where all the OS has been installed, okay? These two I have added, STB and STC. So one is of 10 gigs, other is of 20 gigs. This is the media file, the CentOS DVD file that is being mounted. So we, we have added the disk, we are able to see the disk has been added. Our next step is to initialize this disk, how we can initialize the disk. The utility that we use for initializing the disk is physical volume PV create. So we have used PV create and which one we have to do. All the disks are located in slash step location. Okay, now I have to do STB, the very first one. I have initialized that. The second one, that also got initialized. Now, this got initialized. We have the disk. If you run PV display, display, so it will show you two disks that has been initialized that we have done right away. Sorry, this one and this two. This was the older one that it has. Now the disk has been initialized. Now we have to create the volume group. So VG create is a utility. Now I'm going to do is first give the name of the VGs that I'm going to create. Like I'm going to give uh, VG01, okay? 
so vg01 and i'm going to use dev sdp my vg is created now i'm going to use vg02 and that will be from sdc created vgs are created now now you can run vg display command and you'll be able to see two vgs that is vg02 and vg01 and all those how much size it has been taken those details you can see here uuid and everything now vgs are created now i have to create the lvs from these vgs so lv create is the utility now lv create hyphen and the name so lv01 i'm going to give okay now hyphen capital l will define the size that i'm going to give so i'm going to give 9.5 gigs to it okay now which one i have to use dev slash vg01 so this is this vg i'm going to use it will say yes i have formatted okay now i have to create another one logic volume 2 which will be of 19.5 gigs and it will have vg2 it has to take yes so my logical volume created lv display if you run it will show you two logical volumes now one is lv02 and another one is lv01 now my logical volumes completed but if you run df hyphen ht are you able to see that web data web app file system no right so for that there are two steps left like first we need to make the file systems in linux we have many file systems like ext1 ext2 ext3 ext4 uh, xfs and few others are there so in this video i'm going to show the ext4 file system creation mkfs make file system dot ext4 slash dev vg sorry vg01 lv01 so i'm going to make this as a ext4 and vg02 lv02 is my next one this is also done now my file system is created now i am going to create two directories web data web data where i have to map these okay so web data and web app so these two are created now see the time you see till now if i'll show you there is no file system shown okay the time i will run mount hyphen a and you will see this web data and web app file should be coming oh, no it will not come and the reason why it will not come uh, because this mount hyphen a command will take from this fs tab file which we have not this one va slash etc fs tab so it will check the entries from this file and based on that it will mount so since we have not added here anything so that's why it is not taking i just want to see if i'll do web data will it mount no so it is saying i cannot find it in the fs tab so i cannot mount so better if we do uh, let's just get into the fs tab file and make this entries and see if that works out i'll just get into this file i'll enter okay i'll copy this complete line and i'll paste it okay i'll paste one more why two sorry i'll come here y y p p two times okay now i have to give my location so dev s no v g 0 1 lv 0 1 if you want to double check we can check that as well v g 0 2 lv 0 2 okay and this one i have to map it to slash web data and this one i want to map it to slash web app okay 
don't want to change this. I'm going to make an ext4 file system. So ext4 is the one ext4 and this default but changes values as one and two. One, two, two, one. Sorry. Now just save this file and now run the command mount hyphen a. So since we have the entries in the fs tab, it has to take that. Now if we run, it is showing our file system created. Thanks for watching my videos guys. Hope you like and enjoy it. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Middleware Techie. Thank you. Have a nice day.